few days is a very powerful day. It's Rosh Chodesh Elul, the first day of the month of Elul. The first day of Elul means a lot of things, but one thing that it means for sure is that's 30 days away from Rosh Hashanah. The countdown begins. Rosh Hashanah is a very powerful and important day on the Jewish calendar, but not only to, for Jews, for everybody. The biblical name of Rosh Hashanah is Yom Adin, Judgment Day, because that's the day that the entire world is being judged, and it's actually the day that is decided if the world will continue to exist or not. On Judgment Day, on Rosh Hashanah, the entire world is being judged by the master of the universe. And with our prayers, we crown God to be our God. Which means that that day is important to any human being, not only to Jews and not only to observant Jews. This day is detrimental to any living creature in the world, Jews and non-Jews. And every, even the animals and nature, vegetation, everything is being judged that day. That's why it's called Judgment Day. So, in the great mercy of the Master of the Universe, He gave us an entire month to get ready. If you would get now a subpoena or a judgment to appear in front of a judge for whatever uh, uh, charges that they decided to put on you, then you would get ready. You would get ready with a good defense, defense uh, uh, team, lawyers, with uh, building your strategy, how you're going to approach this uh, situation. So the same thing here. The master of the universe is telling us, I'm going to judge you on the first day of the month of Tishrei, and I'm giving you 30 days to prepare. 30 days to prepare yourself for the day that you're going to be judged for everything that you did in the past year. When does the 30 days start? In a few days from now. This year, it's going to be on Shabbat. Rosh Chodesh Elul, one of the most powerful days of the year. This year falls on Shabbat. It's two days, Rosh Chodesh, Shabbat and Sunday. But the 40 days preceding Yom Kippur, that are very special, auspicious and powerful 40 days, they start on Shabbat, on Lamed Av. So really, this coming Shabbat is where it all starts. So I don't want to make this video long. I just want to uh, prepare you, announce what is going to happen in the next month and 40 days. And if you want to be included, if you want to join, that's of course your decision. But uh, it's my obligation to give you a heads up of what's going on. So first of all, in the last few years, I gave dozens of lectures about the month of Elul, the head of the month of Elul, what's going on in the 30 days prior to Judgment Day, what are the 40 days from the first day of Elul all the way to Yom Kippur, which really the first day of Elul is when Moshe Rabbeinu went up to the mountain the third and final time, and he came down from the mountain after 40 days on Yom Kippur, and that became the Day of Atonement after Moshe Rabbeinu prayed in the heavens for 40 days. So really what's going on now is a repetition of what was going on then. So we have now 40 days to repent. Now I know I said a second ago, 30 days. 30 days is from Rosh Chodesh Elul till Rosh Hashanah. But Rosh Hashanah is Judgment Day. 10 days later is Yom Kippur, that's the day of repentance. So really we have 30 days to prepare for Judgment Day, but really we have 40 days to go through f this time where Hashem is very accessible. Our tshuva, our repentance is easy, easily accepted. The gates of tshuva, of mercy and repentance are open. This is called Chodesh HaRachamim Vaslichot, the month of mercy and forgiveness. So, what's going to happen in the next 40 days is we're going to need to really concentrate on our tshuva, on our repentance. And what I'm talking right now is for everyone, Jews and non-Jews. Non-Jews also have to repent for the sins that they do. And they also have to follow the Torah. There's no difference here between a Jew and a non-Jew. 
and judgment days for the entire world. So everybody needs to prepare. Now, if you think that you're going to come to judgment day and you just buy yourself a nice, clean, new outfit and pray for a few hours and everything will be fine, then I'm sorry to tell you, you have a mistake. You cannot approach judgment day without a preparation. You cannot reach to Yom Kippur without doing the proper tshuva. Tshuva means to repent. It cannot be done overnight. Really, tshuva has to be done every day. But if you don't do tshuva every day, then now in the month of Elul, and I explained that many times, the master of the universe, the king of all kings, is accessible to us. He, so to say, comes out towards us to accept our prayers, to accept our, accept our forgiveness, and to bless us. Of course, eventually at Rosh Hashanah, with a great year, everything is decided on Rosh Hashanah. Who's going to live? Who's going to die? Who's going to be rich? Who's going to be poor? How much money are you going to make? Who's going to get married? How many kids are you going to have? Everything is decided on Rosh Hashanah. And not only that, I explained that in other classes, that how much challenges you're going to have in the next year is decided on Rosh Hashanah. What are going to be the challenges for the next coming year is decided on Rosh Hashanah. Everything is decided. So really, a smart individual says, huh, this is a very important day in the year. Let me prepare the right way. So I'm not going to make a long class right now. It's not even considered a class. I just want to, A, uh, uh, remind you all that Rosh Chodesh is coming in a few days. B, uh, to give you some instructions, what needs to be done. And three is to tell you what I'm going to do. And of course, everybody's welcome to join me. And I do believe that's the best way to prepare to Rosh Hashanah. Because we need to really focus on our tshuva. So, first of all, as usual, we have a web page on my website where you can go. I believe it's at smooth.org forward slash Elul. If not, just look, the link will put on the video and under the video and wherever you see it, you, there'll be a link to the page. And the reason why I'm throwing you to the page, because we uh, compiled on that page all the videos that you need to see. All the videos that I explain about Elul, and there's a lot of them on my website. There's, uh, I don't even know in numbers. There's many, many videos. I highly recommend that you watch all of them that you get educated in everything that you need to do for Elul. And I know, I know many people tell me, oh, I saw already all your videos. I saw them last year. I saw them two years ago. I guarantee to you, with no offense and no trying to hurt anybody, you don't remember half of what I said in these videos. And I'll tell you a secret. I don't even remember half of what I said in these videos. And I watch my own videos sometimes to refresh my memory. Oh, I forgot about that. Because every year I read different content, different books. Sometimes I forget of something that I taught 10 years ago. So I highly recommend that you take the time and every day you watch one or two videos. It will educate you. It will inspire you. It will give you the right tools, really what to focus on, on the month of Elul. This is number one. Check. So go to the webpage, follow all the videos. You, you won't regret it. And there's a lot of them. I know it might be overwhelming in the beginning when you see. You can choose which ones you want to see. But all of them are important. The next thing is, I don't know if you remember, many of our followers are new. Some of the followers uh, are, are already uh, participated in that. But uh, two years ago, we did a tshuva boot camp, TCB. Uh, no, TBC, we called it, if you remember. So we're going to do the tshuva boot camp again. Uh, Every day, if, if I remember correct, in the boot camp, we posted every day two, three videos. So we're just going to rinse and repeat. And I know many people say, oh, 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 I did the, the tshuva boot camp two years ago. Yeah, but <laughs> so what if you did it? You still need to do tshuva. I guarantee that you don't remember half of the content that we posted then. Besides the fact, you know, tshuva is like washing your garments. So it's almost like saying, if I, uh, some people say, oh, I watched the, the, the boot camp two years ago. Yeah, but you still need to do it again. You don't take one shower in, in your entire life. You take a shower every day. Now, why do you take a shower every day? Because you get dirty. And every day you get dirty, you wash yourself. You wash yourself, you wash your clothes. So it's the exact same thing. So even though if you saw that two years ago, so what? So you see it again. So first of all, I highly recommend that you sign up again to the Chuva Bootcamp. Of course, it's all free. 
uh, on the webpage that I told you on Elul, you can find all the information. And uh, usually what we do is that we spread the videos, the short videos, we put them uh, on uh, YouTube, but now you'll have to go and look for them. What I suggest is to register to the WhatsApp group where we're going to post every day all the information through WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, uh, email. Uh, if I forgot anything, just look on the page and just participate. So join the, the best is the WhatsApp, Telegram, all these uh, applications because we're just going to throw the videos on there. Every day what needs to be read, every day what needs to be said. Uh, I don't want to make this video long, but on the web page is all the, all the instructions that you need to know. And to make your life easy, a lot of people tell me, I, need, I just need to know what to do. Every day, tell me what to do. So that's what we do. Every day, you'll get an email, you get a WhatsApp, you get a, a, a message. Today, read these Tehillim. Today, read this. Today, watch this video. So I just, to make a long story short, just follow the boot camp that we did two years ago, follow all the information that we're going to post. But of course, to kind of refresh the information, what are we are going to do this year? And we're going to uh, include everybody. Many people already have signed up because we did that in previous years. Uh, and in previous years, it was kind of private, so not many, many people knew about it. This year, we're going to open the opportunity to many others. Uh, with a limited amount of space, but what we did last year and the year before is that we took the 40 days from Rosh Chodesh Elul all the way to Yom Kippur and every day we went to a holy site here in Israel and uh, said some special prayers and whoever participated in this program, uh, their, we, their, you know, uh, the, their names were mentioned and the holy sites and there were special uh, prayers for them, and it was very, very successful. So you can find the information on the webpage. Uh, like I said, last time, last few years, it was uh, quietly because I didn't know how many uh, names I can read in the graves. I'm sure you uh, uh, hear our messages every couple of weeks. There's a special day. I go to Meron, I go to Darizal, I go to different uh, graves and we uh, uh, include people to submit names so uh, we can pray on their behalf. What most people don't know that sometimes it takes me 10 hours that I'm sitting there reading names. Uh, you know, recently I was Rosh Chodesh Av, I went to Meron. Uh, before that was Tu Be'av. Uh, the 15th day of Av, I went to Amuka and I went to the Arizal. You know, but a lot of people send us names, which I'm happy, of course, to pray for everybody. But a lot of people don't realize. People think I go in and out. You know, last time in Amuka, I was there eight hours. Eight hours of reading names. So, that I can do once a month. But every day in holy sites, I can't read 5,000 names. It takes hours. So last few years, I limited it to a very small amount. This year, we're going to open it publi uh, uh, publicly a little bit more, uh, that more people to, can participate. But once we see a certain amount of names came in, then we close it because I, I, I can't do everyday hours of, uh, of uh, reading the names. So what I suggest is to find the information on the web page, how you participate uh, in, the, in the 40 days prayers in the Kivrei Tzadikim, in the holy sites. And, uh, and you'll find all the information on, on the webpage. Uh, every day we go to a different uh, holy grave. Some of the graves we, we, we repeat. I mean, there's thousands of graves, but some of the graves we repeat. Of course, we start with the main ones, the Arizal, and uh, uh, Meron, Rabbi Meir Balanes, the Shala, uh, Rav Nabai. We're going to try to do every day a different game. On Shabbat, what I do is I have the names printed on a, on a, pa on a paper. And usually Shabbat, I go locally. I either go to Nachum Gamzu, it's next to my house. I go to Bnayao Ben Yoyada, which is a 10-minute walk from my house in Birya. Sometimes I go down to the grave. I have enough graves to go on Shabbat. But if you want to participate, go to the webpage, uh, find all the information. Uh, it's called the 40 Days uh, prayers in Kivrei Tzadikim and hopefully you can squeeze in uh, a, a position 
uh, before it closes. I'm sorry, I, I can't. Every day that I go, I pray for everybody. But it, and the, the ones who participate, then we recite special prayers. The names are being mentioned in the holy sites. And uh, it's very powerful. Uh, what else? Uh, I know I'm, I'm, I, I, I apologize to many people. A lot of people tell me, why don't you? You know, a lot of rabbis, they, they film everything that they do. And why don't you do that? I don't like walking around with a phone. I know a lot of rabbis, that's what they do. They walk in the street like that and they give you their daily inspiration. That's not me. I, I, I don't walk around with a phone. But I know many people telling me, listen, you got to film these things. So I'm promising you I'm going to do my best to film the, at least the visits to the holy sites and to some of the big slichot that we go to in Meron, in, uh, in uh, uh, the Kotel, which is another thing that if you're Sephardi, we start saying slichot on Monday. If you're Ashkenazi, you sang it in the last week of Elul. But I don't want this video to be long. I just wanted to announce and to remind you what is happening. All the information is on the website, like I told you. And needless to say that every day I'm going to record videos. Like I told you before, sorry, I started saying to refresh the Chuva Bootcamp, then we're going to use the videos that we already posted last two years. But every day I'll make a new, a new video. Uh, I'm thinking in order to kind of make it interesting is to make that video in one of the holy sites and that will have another uh, chidush, a twist, a new thing uh, to apply in our tshuva. But really what I want to emphasize in this video, I don't want it to be long, is that we have 30 days till Rosh Hashanah, 40 days till Yom Kippur. This Rosh Hashanah is very special. I know I, I know I say every Rosh Hashanah or every Rosh Chodesh or every Shabbat is special, but I'll tell you why this Rosh Hashanah is special. Because we're finishing a year of Shemitah. Now, we don't really know when is the Yovel, the Jubilee year. Uh, we just don't know. We lost count. So this Rosh Hashanah could very much be that we're going into a Yovel. There's a very good chance that we're going into a Yovel 50 years. You know what it means, a Yovel, a Jubilee year? So this Rosh Hashanah, with no doubt, we're finishing Shnat Shemitah, a sabbatical year. We're starting a new cycle. And we have the option that this might be a Shnat Yovel, a 50th year. So that's a very special year that we're going into. And I know I pray every day for Mashiach to come. But if you follow me, a few months ago I gave a lecture where I gave a, a comparison between the prophecy that is told to us in the Talmud about the seven years prior to the coming of Mashiach. I compared it to Agenda 2030 of the evil regime that is uh, running and trying to control the world. And I was kind of putting them back to back, showing that we might be going into a seven-year cycle of very hard six years till the coming of Mashiach. Of course, our prayers uh, is to, uh, to have Mashiach come any day. But this Rosh Hashanah is a very powerful Rosh Hashanah. Besides the fact that I quoted many times, many places, that the coming of the son of David and Ben David Ba Ela B'Motzei Shevit. When is the son of David going to come? At the end of the seventh year. So this Rosh Hashanah is the end of the seventh year. So, can you imagine if Mashiach comes on, on Rosh Hashanah or a day later or two days later? Wouldn't you want to be prepared? Prepare them I mean, to repent, wash all your sins off and get ready with your Shabbat garments to the coming of Mashiach. So this Rosh Hashanah is a very powerful and important Rosh Hashanah that you do not want to miss. That means that your preparation has to be accordingly. So you have a few days to get yourself ready. Shabbat comes, it's a very powerful Rosh Hashanah, oh, hey, Rosh Chodesh, Shabbat and Rosh Chodesh. I will make another video explaining the, the benefits and what needs to be done. Then Sunday is Rosh Chodesh and right after that we start Slichot, if you're Sephardi, and we're going into the journey. So this video is just to hype you up, prepare you. I don't want you to say, oh, why didn't you let me know before that? So I'm letting you know now, you still have a few days to prepare. And the preparation is emotionally. And you, listen, if you want to do proper tshuva, you'll need to dedicate half an hour every day for that. And the half an hour will include the videos that we post and the text and the prayers that you're going to have to read and pray every day. And just follow it. 
If you have your own methods or your own uh, teachers and rabbis, go ahead, do whatever you can, whatever you need, don't have to follow us and me to, to participate. You can do whatever you want, you need to do tshuva. But we organized it in a very uh, quick, easy way to doing it, and the last few years it was very successful. So do yourself a favor, just subscribe, follow, you don't, it, doesn't, it, it just needs your effort. I'm not asking you here now to donate millions of dollars and to, to dedicate the entire day. But I'm telling you I'm, from, from, a, from a, the depths of my heart, this is a very powerful month. We went through a very difficult year. Everybody has difficulties. Everybody's going through challenges, financial challenges, marital challenges, challenges with their kids, with their jobs, and it's getting crazier, harder. Everybody's going through hardships. Because Mashiach is coming. And the only way that's going to change the situation is tshuva, is repent. Only. So now we have 40 days to do proper tshuva, 30 days till Rosh Hashanah, and then another initial 10 days that are called the 10 days of tshuva, to do real proper good tshuva before Yom Kippur. And all is left for us is to pray to Hashem to forgive our sins, and to accept our prayers, and to bless us with a wonderful, happy year. So now what I'm telling you to do, once you're done with the video, follow the link to the webpage, and the first things that you need to do is don't have to watch all the videos. Just go through the first part of the webpage of all that it's what, what, what to expect and what's coming. And prepare yourself, whether join the WhatsApp group, the Telegram uh, uh, group, uh, Facebook, wherever, whatever is your favorite platform, email, whatever it is. Get ready because all the information is going to start flooding now. We're going to send a few videos and text and posts every day. If you want to participate in the 40 days Kivrit Tzadikim prayers, then uh, secure a place very fast. We're going to have to close it at some point because I can't pray eight hours every day. I can only dedicate maybe an hour a day for that. And just get ready that we're going to flood now the, the, all of our platforms. I mean, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, um, atzmut.com, WhatsApp, Telegram, with all this information. And you want to participate. It's for your own benefit. It's simple instructions. What you need to do, I guarantee to you, you'll go through this, these 40 days. You'll reach Yom Kippur ready with your tshuva. And that's really our goal. That every individual can repent and do real tshuva, real good, that not only that you'll be blessed with a wonderful, healthy year, that it will sustain forever. And needless to say, as more people do tshuva, the faster that we get redeemed. So again, Share the video with whoever you can. Post it wherever you can. Go to the webpage. I do believe it's at smooth.org forward slash Elul. Follow the instructions. Get ready. There's going to be now an avalanche of videos coming in. I'll make them short and to the point. Easy to listen. Easy to do. And let's do it all together. The last few years were, were, were amazing. Now it's time to do it again. And most important thing, we have to do it together. So share it with as many people as you can. Take the video, share it with all your friends, all your loved, run, loved ones and family. And uh, let's, uh, let's get busy. It's going to be a very, very busy, intense 40 days. We have to do it. It's only for our benefit. It's not going to be that bad. Don't think we're going to now dedicate 12 hours a day to learning Torah. I wish. But Bezrat Hashem, all that's left for me to wish for you is uh, Shabbat Shalom for the coming Shabbat. Chodesh Tov. Shana Tova. And Bezrat Hashem, we, we're going to do tshuva. And with our hard effort and prayers, Hashem should accept our tshuva and bless us all with a sweet, happy new year and with the ultimate blessing that we should see with our own physical eyes the coming of Mashiach very soon.